Okay. We are back. Already hooked up. We're going to try to pull forward now. No budging yet. Got to make sure that they didn't leave bricks under holding the back end up. All right. This side, no. These bricks, but not connected enough. No, I think it's just stuck. So, gonna give it a few, few more tugs, and I guess I'll have to, if it doesn't move, start digging it. Does it look like it's trying to move? What happened? Like Alright, which side? The far side, unfortunately. I mean, but it was trying to move, but I mean we're definitely moving. Issue is is will the ground let me go before it fully gives in? Right. I think the main issue is that wall that the whole reason why I'm trying to do this is that the wall that's stuck is holding it in yeah because the wall is not staying it looks like it's going with it yeah, all right um but we are making a ton of movement so i'm gonna oh i'm not even really digging down i'm just digging sideways huh So it's this side that's not moving. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't know if the tires are buried or what. Or if they're locked. They may be locked in place. Oh, uh, it looks like you got center blocks in between the tires. Wow. That would make a lot of sense why it's not budgy. Yeah, All right. Let me. Ooh, where'd you put? Shovel. I think I see one by the door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, with it being buried, I would have never known that until we started yanking on it.
Let me move your shovel out of the way. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm 100% sure. <laughs> that's like, that's the number one way to keep your trailer from rolling is yeah. putting a brick in between. And when you put one that size, it definitely ain't gonna move. Now I'm not moving forward. I wonder if you're well, no, I don't think my truck's uh, able to get out of the rut it put itself in. She's out. <clears throat> All right. Now I can pump up the tires and see how bad the condition of everything. Oh, that tire is like gone. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't put air in that one either, so. There may be, you got quite a bit of tires. <laughs> yeah, that one is a tire stand. Yeah, I think it was that wall was holding the whole thing in. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it looks okay otherwise, the trailer. Yeah, it's all gonna be gutted. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to take it all and put it in a dump trailer though. It's too wobbly. Well, no, the tow, I could tow the trailer, but everything that's on it, I can't wrap it. Right, right. So, I'll probably pull it up more so I could get... Yeah, get to it. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Miracle. And then get a view of how much is still here. All right. All right. Those all hold that held air pretty good.
tell me that's good wire. That is good wire.
all this. See all that metal? It's all gonna get buried. It's a freaking shame. Washers, dryers. Ah. Thought I wasn't gonna make it out of there. These people lost their money. So when you get done with the landfill, well, once you go up, you have to come back down and use your ticket and way back out. Uh, you get charged by the ton. The cheapest thing you could bring in is construction debris. Um, the most expensive, other than like hazardous waste and tires, would be regular household trash. Um, so yeah, everybody tries to say they have construction, but it all depends on what the people up here say. But they may not let me record, so we'll find out in a second. Our weight today in trash was six or 4.62 tons, um, which is a roughly like 9,200 pounds or something like that, um, which was a lot of weight. Quite a bit of money, I hate to say. So, but it is what it is. That's what you. That's what you do sometimes when you 
go to help someone sometimes you pay a little more out of your own pocket than what you actually make but it's okay what goes around comes around right no but hey you know it is what it is i had fun I unburied a lot more metal, which I will be going back to pick up. It won't be in this video. This is purely just finishing off that trailer. Um, yeah. So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time.